Uh, Roland. If I read the events. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. All those in favor say aye. Okay. Well, wait a minute, it has to be seconded. <laughs> I did. You seconded? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I did not bother going through and asking Sarah for updated numbers on what was spent yeah. through the end of November. I apologize. Yeah. Well, we have the Didn't numbers. even think of it. Yeah. Did we get one? We have the numbers. Do we have it through the end of November? Yeah. Okay. Because We have the printout, but I didn't add them to the spreadsheet, I guess wow. is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. focus. What do you have? How oh, recent is yours? Oh, no. That's the original one. Yeah, that's your original one. Did you? I don't want to talk at all. Go ahead and ask me questions. <laughs> <laughs> this back. Yes, 25,557. So that is your 23 request, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, that's what we would need to adjust it up to to cover dispatch yeah. for the entire time. 25, what? 25,557. That's the number from Hanover. Can we add some more fives and so these are numbers? <laughs> Did you want to drop it down two dollars? Make it two five 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 five. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And let's add that two. Add three to the two. Um, I think you're getting a little ridiculous now, and somebody's going to accuse me of no, making a slush fund. Five 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 five. Uh, just one question uh, on the dispatch. Yeah. Is it going to be a, a line? Some explanation in the uh, town report saying why that, what that is. Yes, yes, there will. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want people to look at it and not know why. Yes, sir. That's a very good suggestion. I appreciate it. We'll do. I'm really glad you did that. I have a question about the retirement um, funds, mm -hmm. retirement town pay. Um, you had mentioned that there would be increase to make our town competitive with other towns. Does that affect the retirement? Yes. It, it, will, it will affect the retirement, but we looked at, we only did the highway department's wages. Mm -hmm. So that would only affect the, that line in, in the highway department. And when we went back and ran the numbers, when I say we, I mean mostly me and the little mouse in my pocket. Um, I guess so. <laughs> Actually, I have two sets of keys because I've lost some today, so I had to run around and go get more. And I'm not putting them back in their thing so I can feel them poking me, and I know that I have them. Um, anyway, uh, the numbers that we have in the budget have room for what we, what we did. Um, unless we would get a fully full crew, which we don't anticipate, right. but we'll know that within the next week or so because we just got another applicant today with a CDL. Yeah, you know, someday, someday's prayers actually get answered. We'll see how, you know, but um, right. if we have to add more personnel to that, then we'll need to adjust it. But no, this is just okay. the selectman's executive, which is only Sarah, mm -hmm. is all that this line is. Okay. Why is the license not stopped there? It's 3500 then, yeah. We crossed one down 650 And then the next line picks yeah. it up, though. We separated those out. We, yeah, we separated those out, and that 2500 is the um, Civic Plus mm -hmm. website annual Plus. contract. Civic Plus? Civic Plus is the name of the company that we're contracted with for the website. And if you go to the website, it says that on the bottom. That's who's who made it. Well, I, when I yeah. my line, I... Here. Wages. Yeah. Wages. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
churches. Clearly, he didn't have a question about it. That's what I assumed. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you? You can. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to go line by line with it. Maybe a question. No. Okay. Sorry. Yep. So wages is is Sarah's salary. There's money in there for a um, possible backup for her when she would be out on vacation or whatever. Um, that includes selectmen stipends. I think trustees stipends, trustee of the trust funds, I think stipends are included in there. Uh, cleaning. No, that's under general government bills. I take that back. That might be it. Does the town advertise for a backup? We have in the past. We haven't recently. We're kind of not at the point where Sarah's not, Sarah's not ready to take any time off yet anyway, so, but no, no, no I know what you're saying. But, I mean, should she get sick, then what, you know, I mean. Then Cindy jumps in work always. <laughs> Go Cindy. <laughs> so you're okay with leaving it where it's at? Yeah. And yes, we do need to post, but we need to, we need to start treading water. We need to get <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get there. <clears throat> oh, I have a question mm -hmm. about the mixed wages of the finance administration. Mm -hmm. um, there was money for uh, Shannon Poitras in there. Was that her stipend? It yes. seemed like an odd amount. It was because it was calculated by how many days she was the... Because oh, okay. she had been the deputy, mm -hmm. and then Dottie resigned, and then she was the treasurer, so there was, yes, it was... So, because the new treasurer helped us do math, because <laughs> we did the math. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was an amount. Mm -hmm. And Sue just put in for her stipend for the remainder of the year that actually balanced that out to, to be exactly what it okay. yeah, to the whole year's yeah. mm -hmm. It's nice to know you caught up on the affairs. Mm -hmm. Somewhat. I mean, there's always still more to do, but a lot of the big stuff that had been neglected for a while got taken care of. I would make a case for dropping the facts. Um, I know Sarah, no, Sarah and I would agree with you. Um, Unfortunately, that's one of the things we were going to talk about last night with Alan Trudwell. I don't know what happened with him. Mm -hmm. Sarah okay. hasn't gotten a hold of him yet. Come in by facts and that's how it is. Some okay. things do, but there are ways that you could. Oh, okay. We could do that without having. Can I make a suggestion? Um, D facts cost just a few dollars. I'm not sure if my lawyer required to have uh, yep. uh, proper lines. Thank you. Yeah, we've talked about that. That's something that even uh, Tom brought up back a while ago. And that it all ties into this whole, we need, we need a new computer, we need to get off this Linux garbage, we need, you know, we don't, nobody backs anything up, which is, we ran into that problem with the town clerk, so we're, we're trying to resolve all this, and definitely the, the fax is on there, but there would still be a phone and an internet, so. <laughs> If it's not, I, if it's not, I think she's got it on a thumb drive in the desk. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So the license software is QuickBooks at the moment, right? Under finance, yes. Yeah. general government buildings, we felt like we were. That's just general government buildings. Furnace, yep. that kind of stuff.
that should be the maintenance man, the cleaning. And that's it. And we have been kicking around, it's a little bit higher, we have been kicking around um, more cleaning, more thorough cleaning, um, especially in this building, because it, it's been, it's, it's being used so much more, and it's not really, I think, I, I think came in today, and I had mentioned that there's been a lot of foot traffic with the snow and everything, and she swept, obviously she swept, but, you know, something a little more thorough, more often be good. Every time, many years ago, when someone knew this room, you swept it all, you cleaned it all, and you took the trash. Mm -hmm. Every single person that uses it. Which is supposed to be what's happening, but, um, yesterday when I came in, before the selectmen's meeting, the gar bathroom garbage came was full, and I know Ladies Benevolent was in here doing the baskets, but that was far more garbage than the, you know, the handful of ladies doing what they were doing did. So I, so I, I'm I sure it wasn't them. The last one in here was it the? I'm not even sure. Shop Grafton or LB, LBS meets on Thursday. Oh, Shop Grafton would have been Sunday, so that's probably so what it was. So lift the heat up to 80. Um, we weren't, you know. Actually, I thought I thought it might have been the Shop Grafton that left the heat up to 80, but um, yoga was in here after that. Was in yoga would have been here because there's yoga on Monday and Thursday. Oh, okay. So, okay. you know, and it happens. You know, every once in a while you forget. I get it. Oh, yeah. How about we put a note on the door? Did you remember there's, the there's, there's, there's a note, oh, but it's not obviously. It's it's, it's easily long. it's easily missed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was supposed to get a frame for that, wasn't I? Were you? I'll look. I didn't remember. I won't fault you. You know, I bumped it up because of Tom McGinty. Um, I feel like we could probably bring it back down to 20. Then again, I don't know who's going to be here. It might maybe 30 is more reasonable. Cause I don't know. At least not a run to the lawyer kind of guy. But who else is going to be sitting at the table with him? Who knows? You know? I don't know. We run into the lawyer all the time if I get it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And HMA is, I mean, that's, we, we pay dues for them, and it's an it's awesome right. resource. People yeah. do not take advantage and of they're, them. They're awesome. They are. So is that the legal process? So if you have an issue, you go to them first. You is should go. Yeah. You try to. You try to, yeah, which not everybody does. But, you know. And, and a lot of things, they'll, and they'll tell you straight out, we cannot, you know, we, we are not going to represent you on this. This is, you know, this is our opinion. Yeah. But, you know, if you really... If you need to be 100% certain, talk to town council. There's a former selectman that used to call them, and if he didn't like the answer, he called them away. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Or then you send an email and you word it a little differently, or you ask somebody else to, because you can always keep rearranging the words exactly. until you get the answer it's you think. how you ask the question, right. the answer right. that you right. get. Right. Okay. Disability insurance. So can. you want to leave that legal where it's at? I'm sorry, but before we move on. Well, you would have money elsewhere. There's, yeah, there's usually enough somewhere else, yeah, yeah. Nothing so, ever goes as planned, so, yeah. So, I, I wouldn't mind, I mean, that's going to take us back to just about where we were last year, which would feel much better. So you want to leave it at 25? Right. Move it to 20. I, I could guarantee you if I was sitting in the chair next year that we'd be at 20. We'd be under 20, but I can't guarantee you I'll be sitting in the chair next year. The way I feel today, I will never sit in the chair again. After the one. Yeah, maybe exactly. after the wine and the, <laughs> the um, steel magnolias and, you know, <laughs> and teddy bear and no, box of Kleenex. Story. Okay, so we're going to leave that. Okay, go ahead. If you, if you want to do 20, I'm... I'm I would say I'll do 20. Because it, it floors me how much that has grown 
in the short time that I've lived here. I mean, it used to be next to nothing, and they said that they were, they said they doubled it the year that we were fighting Ivor Joel over the wind turbines. And it's just keep creeping up ever since. Well, and there are other we reasons kicked why them to the curb a long time. Money also. Well, there are absolutely, but they, that was their impetus for doubling it. I think that year was because there was they expected legal battles over that, and that didn't yeah. happen, and that still right. keeps. Yeah. yeah. Disability insurance. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, there was a question on. Yeah, that's what I have. It's just question mark on. Because yeah. they were uh, asking for ninety one hundred. So the that ninety one hundred figure came out of my best guess because I couldn't get an exact number anywhere. Um, that had a, insurance was always one line item. So I just went back and looked at last year's, what was our totals? Everything else I could account for, that's what was left. So I was like, well, it must have been 9,000 9, in, in disability, I don't know. So I dug deeper. Do you have a number that says 1,200 there? Is yeah. that request? Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. So I, I, yeah. so I dug deeper and I looked, I went back the last three years and looked in town reports on what was paid in disability right. insurance. Twelve hundred is more than enough. Uh, this year we paid nine fifty four. I mean that's yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What about unemployment? Unemployment's one of those you can't be sure. No. Right. But I mean, yeah. any idea where we're at? Zero. Zero this year. That's good. Yeah. Nobody's. Nobody's. Nobody's filed for unemployment. Right, but we had to pay on it, right? Uh, no. 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 Right. no. Get that's true. Sure, that's a good point. No, yeah, sure. Let's let's bring it down. Um, five, four. I think five would be a safe number. Yeah, I think that's safer than the nine thousand. Works for me. What was the six seven forty two? Um, yeah, that's what was raised last year. Okay. And they didn't spend any. Say aye. Aye. Nay. Did you say nay? No. I said <laughs> Work is calm. That's a given, is it? A yeah. Six twelve is what the Primex. Right. Uh, that's the number but, we got from Primex for next year. It was eleven thousand six twelve for workers' comp. Right. But I have the next sort of nine thousand nine thousand nine thousand. That's the next one. That's insurance. That's funny. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Yeah. That should be actually this number. Instead of the 106, 627, yeah, it's 99.1. Quick 
course, now you just changed what, one of them, two of them, one of them? Yeah. Yeah. So that would come down 4,000, so it would be 95 one. Yeah, but we, don't, we can't change that. Yeah, we've got to change right. over on the budget. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm just saying that it will change the total because right. we changed yeah. the line in yeah. there. Yeah. So how come it's down from 18 down to 16? I thought it was pretty consistent. It, it is very consistent. That includes the, um, we paid for maps this year. So that's not included next year. Oh, okay. Through 2025. Yeah. That'd be awesome. We and we we didn't get moving on that quick enough in 2020. And we also had Sue had the um, Mark Stetson from Avatar help her write the RFP. Oh, so that's interesting. Yeah. Very rainbow. We're going to save fourteen dollars a month starting in February. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Is that for the whole town? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we have to divide that between like how many households there are? Yeah. Right. So we'll get a penny piece. Yeah. Supposedly, yeah. Just that is sort of uh, is reducing uh, fourteen. Yeah. So you'll save fourteen dollars. They really think they are? Yeah. I would not sit here and lie on camera. Oh, okay. Yes, you would. <laughs> We just took off, what, $9,000. Yeah. Shouldn't be too tough. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, this calculator might work then. Or you're re-adding you're re all the columns and they're not adding up right Well, I think 
are some of these uh, right, so some are some are sub yeah. that's why. That's okay. I don't think you'd appreciate your budget being two hundred thousand. So it's more. yeah, it's so it's I mean if you add up so each each bold one should add up to the bottom one. Mm -hmm. And then between the bold ones those it's should be separated. right, yeah. I'm not gonna re add it. I have a spreadsheet at home, I'll plug it in and see. Thank you. Well, I, can, I mean, just reduce, just re subtracting nine thousand from the three twenty three, two twenty nine is three fourteen, two twenty nine. Okay. It's yeah, yeah, but the thing that you have to remember is the seventy years back. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the dispatch you had it at twenty one thousand. Oh, you are right. Actually, my spreadsheet I added. I, I put that adjustment in my mind before I printed it. Right. So, yeah. so the agreed upon figure there. Was twenty five thousand five fifty five. Fifty seven. What what we had said in the budget workshop date no was, was twenty one thousand. Correct twenty one thousand. But when I found the right number, I plugged it into mine, so that the math added up to three twenty three two twenty nine. Okay. So what what should that figure be? Are, I, I know you guys were fussing over the five dollars. No. I changed my figure. What, what no. is that figure? No no twenty five five fifty seven. Five fifty seven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I forget I updated my spreadsheet, and that's not what everybody else says. All right, so then uh, if you took 5,000 off that, Cindy's total, that should be. Because the only change we made was the adjustment to handle the dispatch. And then uh, the unemployment and legal expenses. and I drove all the way down as far as um, the gal that was her deputy for a while. Um, Mason. Made it all the way to Mason's, kind of my purse. Turn around, go back. Go back, get my purse. Come down, stop here, turn up the key. Go to the town office building, take the key out of the ignition, put it in my pocket, walk in the building, set things down, go back out. Where's my key? This is how my day's gone. I have days like that. Yeah. Not very often, thank goodness. Like the last time I was here and I was falling asleep at the meeting. Mm. Yeah, I can do it. Too, which is also why I like spreadsheets because yeah, I can, it's easy. Yeah, you can right, put the formula in and, and yeah, that's right. it just takes care of Pretty all the easy. stupid for you. Same boat as Sandy. Oh, well, did you get the same number? I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> you got the same number, it might be right. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Yep. So, what you guys have had 21000 for dispatch, correct? Yeah. So, we're adding to that yep. 4557 Right. And then we're subtracting 4000 for the Disability, yeah. or unemployment rather, right? Yeah. Unemployment, right? So minus four, so now we're at a plus 557. And then minus 5,000. Minus 
minus 5,000. So the difference should be 4,443 meters. Which doesn't come up with the number I had either. Good Lord, check out and get my laptop. <laughs> So it shouldn't be higher. No. This is your dollars at work. Well, well good thing none of us are getting paid to be here, so <laughs> not wasting anybody's money. Though I guess we are paying for the electric and the heat in the building. I wouldn't be here if we weren't. So what does everybody have for a total in that column on um, Board of Selectmen adjustments or recommendation or I don't even know what they say? Original adjustment. Yeah. 23229. Okay. That was the original. Okay. That's the number I was I started off with. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's what? 323229. And then if we take nine thousand out of that. That should bring us to 314,229. Right. right. That's, uh, right. Uh, and then add in. 4,557. Right. Maybe sooner or later we could figure out how to add it up. Well, let me start rounding these numbers off to zeros. Dispatch oh. was 21. It's like the day of the selectman's workshop. Oh, on mine it was 10,065. So. Oh, oh yep. I see. Yep, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, but then we adjusted it to 21,000 then. Oh, okay. yeah, there was technically right. There was technically two times the selectman got to say what their budget was. First, when Sarah and I put together numbers, that's in the request column. And then at the budget workshop, the whole board looked them over and then made adjustments. Mm -hmm. So that's, right. so we're, we should be going off the adjustment line. I, right. Um, I came up with 318,786. God bless you, Ed. Two of us agree. Yeah. <laughs> what is yeah. it? 
We tried to schedule a meeting. Can you have a meeting with the other people minus Cindy and do that? It's a section. You can't call a meeting. I can't call a meeting. <laughs> you can't call a meeting? Oh, that's right. Can someone else call me? I sent out, Ed and I talked about what was left. I know. And, and right. I sent Did you it. not make, just make a decision to go that route? Or? No, we did not. No. Um, <laughs> because A, we should not be making decisions via email. So I threw oh. it out to everyone and said, if you would like to have a meeting, here is what Ed and I propose. Oh. Jay Boucher immediately responded that he was opposed to the idea and he stated his very good reasons for it. So I responded, okay, we'll have to have a meeting. Okay. Never got an answer from Diane. Oh, I forgot about her. Was it you? No, I heard it before. Oh, that's a telephone in the kitchen. I, I, I was wondering if it was an actual telephone. That's bizarre. That's a bizarre. Right? Somebody must have changed the ring and used to sound yeah. like that. Why don't we pay for a phone to Cases of fire, so we could call out. We all carry phones. I don't. We've been burned. No. You get a signal. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't. Well, know. obviously you do. You got a call before. Yeah. yeah a lot of us. Don't I don't get a signal at my house, so I figured there wasn't one here either. I've never really? had a signal here. No. And I've known uh, during some of them have had. No, I have a Captain Kirk special. Nice. You have a track phone? Did you get a signal? Is it Alcatel? Is it what? An Alcatel phone. That's what. It's an LG. Given that one. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a storm coming? Yeah. Yeah, I was worth picking up the phone yeah, for you. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but it's supposed to be, well, it's good for you, but it's supposed to be well, for you. I'm trying to text my host to tell me that, too. If you have to plow, it's good to know ahead of time. It's going to be raining. I know. And high winds. Yeah. Oh, high winds. And then, and then it's going to freeze. And, yeah. Uh, freeze it's Saturday morning. Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. 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 So. Okay, so um, thank you for, yeah. Yeah. I, I was just, when I got home, I thought, well, can't they do another one? I mean, it's, it's a shame for it not to happen. Right, but it, yeah. it is, but you know what? The odds are pretty slim that it was going to happen if we have, even if we had a meeting, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're doing 
Jay and I can sit around my house with a glass of bourbon and just disagree on things all day. We don't, we don't need to waste that time. <laughs> Not necessarily on cemetery business, it's on anything in general. Yeah. So we do fire. Yeah, fire. Okay. So what, what do we know that you... No idea. No. Did anyone go to that meeting when they... Yeah. Mr. Hogue did. did. Mr. Hogue attended. He did. Okay. So what was the determination as to whether the radios were going to be a good thing or a bad thing? Well, the determination at the meeting was that most of the members didn't feel it was a good idea, but Mr. the um, fire chief did go ahead and order them anyway. The problem that I see here is we need to have an inventory of those kinds of items as to how updated they are. I think some of those radios are 10 years old. I think they're older than that. Okay, there might be a couple that are you know, 10 years old, but yeah. for safety's sake, shouldn't we have a couple for those who go into buildings? Oh, wait, are you talking about radios or pagers? Because pagers, oh, that's a different thing. Which? Because a radio is not going into a burning building. That's going to be attached to the truck. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what he said yeah. if he was out of fire. So. Which was funny because that actually came up in their meeting. Somebody mentioned that, people were, that the new radios. radios were fireproof and the old ones weren't. And the question, I think it was Lex I heard that said, you're not driving the truck into the fire, so what does it matter? <laughs> you understand where I'm coming Hopefully. From. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one time I bourbon somewhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, they shouldn't be behind the wheel. But, but um, does, he has money left in his budget this year. So he will not go over budget by having purchased right. a, so eight thousand seven thousand. So, so does it me. not make sense for him to buy one or two radios or paint I, whatever it was? My understanding was, like you said, that he did buy his, uh, radios, and he was not getting the repeated monitor. He was not. No. Okay, so was it the repeater that he mentioned that he wanted yep. last time he was yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so so. Did that come up at the meeting? The repeater monitor. I don't. I I, I want to say that both were discussed, but I'm, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I think yeah, what he said to me was they dropped the repeated monitor and went after a blower fan. Yeah. Don't we already have one of those? What he said was the one that we have is so heavy and awkward oh, okay. that. Uh, Going by the one that, who responds to a scene. Oh yeah, the chick goes, it's a little more difficult to manipulate. Well, uh, yeah. he said like, uh, him and Buddy, basically the uh, two that uh, you can pretty much count on going to a yeah, buy. Okay. The, uh, the two of them uh, would have a problem carrying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay. I don't know how big this uh, supposedly yeah. new one They're is. really big. What are we talking about? Uh, the blow of motor, the fan. To blow the smoke out of the building. Uh, oh, the, okay. So, I, if, if there's a name for it, I don't know what it is, but I don't remember anybody mentioning this at all before, so. Yeah. Um, but I can say that I, it, I just remembered the, so the, the way Leaf explained it was the, so they talked about the repeater monitor and the radios. There was kind of pushback on both. Um, the repeater monitor without new radios would be a waste. Oh. Um, but the radios, as you said, are, are dated. So that's why Roger made the decision to go ahead and get the radios, because those are needed okay. regardless. Okay. But the monitor okay. creates. He got, the, and, he got yeah. the car before the Yeah. Okay. So then is his budget, has he used up the money this year's money in the budget? He's just about at the... Okay, yeah. right. that's good. I'm glad to hear yeah. that, rather than it going back in the general fund to save me $5 per thousand on my taxes. Yeah. Okay. That was my question. Yeah. So, we're taking repeat and monitor off here, right? No. We're leaving no. repeat and monitor off. Leaving it on because they didn't buy it. Next right. year. Um, okay. And I don't think... No, they did not... They did not add anything to like equipment or supplies or anything for the radios because that was an after. 
thought from when this was put together. So well, that's all right, because this is next year's budget. So. Right. Yeah. So that leaves them at thirty thousand. Mm-hmm. And so when are we approving this? Did someone ask Roger for an explanation of the capital reserve, the, the Warren article? Diane came in and handed me a piece of paper. She had it all typed up, and I said, I'm pretty sure everybody already knows what that is. We talked about it at every meeting, about how, how a fire truck is half a million dollars. Yeah. And, yeah. So we I don't know why. But she said, she said somebody had asked Roger. She didn't know who, but she brought it in the office. I said thanks, but I don't know. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to read the grant before it got sent out, so we don't make that mistake. Right. I don't care whether it's necessary for you to read it or not. You're in charge of our town, and it's up to you to look at that kind of paperwork. Yeah. I'm it makes sorry. for a really tough working relationship when people do that. Yeah. It makes it really tough. I, so and I would I love to sit and be the cheerleader for this new ambulance, but it's kind of hard right now. But I understand the other side also, that it had to get in right away, so I can hold both sides of that argument, but, I mean... When you knew in June you were buying an ambulance and you needed to have money... Okay. You don't. So you don't do it December 15th. Okay. Sorry. But the, fact, but the fact that someone took over and took care of it, even though she stepped on some toes. I can pull both sides of that argument. I'd rather save the money and get someone perturbed a little than not get the grant because of... I'm not going to sit here and bad mouth her on camera again. No. no. I, I've, no tried to, I've tried to, to do this discipline in private that. and if it needs to come out in public, I've, and I have all the emails. Yeah. I think, I think it's water under the bridge and we shouldn't really be... We should all let it go, so... I make a motion to accept. Or she wants us to shut up. Yes, yeah, she doesn't have a budget of thirty thousand dollars. We don't want Paul here Thank for you. ten and a half hours. That's true. Right. We don't want any of us here for ten and a half hours. Oh, let's, let's, let's be clear on that. I want to be walking in the sunshine to get to my driveway. To get to my house. Okay. Did I hear a second? I'm sorry. Did I hear a second? Oh, would you like a second? What was the number again? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Um, I'll second that. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. Yeah, I was next. Oh, that's going to be fun. Did we completely table it? No, we didn't. No. No, only just a couple of things. We yes. just did it. Okay. Important stuff. Because I just quizzed him on the Warren articles if that was the question. I couldn't remember what it was that we. Uh, well, the question of being was. Covers. Uh, with the, oh, yeah, he did not order culverts. He, left over. he was going to get culverts. He yeah. did not. He did not? He did not. He could not. And in case you haven't heard the memo, he's the only person in the department. Um, oh. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I understand yeah. that. We've had a couple of snowstorms. He's been a little bit. So he's bit not had time. Had he has time. not had a time, no. Can someone else look into that? Or are we done? I would assume we're done. I always seem to run. And quite frankly, I I can't push him any harder. I can't push him. No, no, no. He's doing everything. Is he there can. more to it? I mean, could I make the phone call and see, or is it more complicated? I now? think it's a little more complicated, more complicated. because uh, anybody could just take the call and say, yeah, I need to call it gullets. Then they're going to say to you, all right, what size do you need? How many do you need? Uh, but right, and he had also talked about trying to coordinate with other towns, with other to, towns. Right. 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 to get a right. good rate on the shipment, mm -hmm. and 
Um, and I know he's been in touch with the other towns because there's been other things going on. So if, if it didn't hasn't come up organically, or maybe he's waiting for other people to reply, I, I'm not sure. But he, I, I, I'd rather not push him on it. So it still could conceivably come up by the ninth, or, or he could come to our meeting right. and have a. He would have to get that order in right now and get an invoice because if it doesn't get turned into the selectman's office by the first week of January, it's not. It's June. June. So we were just going around about this Sarah and I today. I told her to touch base with Sue, and I started going through the file cabinet trying to figure out exactly how it worked because you've got ten passed. days. Yeah. So January tenth is the cutoff. Right. January tenth this year is a Tuesday, so things that get turned in that Monday. The check would technically get cut Tuesday, but it would be dated for Friday. So would that yeah. fall within? Yeah, yes, because what you would do is you would uh, date that check pre back, predate it, and back so that falls. That doesn't sound like a legal thing to do. But, but why not? But, since but it's, it, it's really how the transaction is being taken right. care of. It's just that so checks cut on the 10th should just be dated the 10th yeah, instead that, of that Friday. Right. That makes sense. I can yes. see that. Yeah, yeah. sure. That's not sure. Legal. Yeah. No, no, not at all. No. I mean, it's just when you get around to doing it. I mean, right. Why would it typically? I never understood why the checks don't get aren't dated for that the day they're cut anyway. That never made sense right. to me. Where yeah. they, I get payroll day is Friday. We'll just don't hand them their check till Friday. You're not doing the ACH transfer till Friday for, you know, if you got direct deposit. So well, because the way it was before when uh, June was uh, treasurer, and she was active. She would take some of this money that the selectman had in the thing, and. She would reinvest it. So she was always making additional money in you know, oh, okay. the town. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, June just uh, ended up coming sick. Yeah. And, and I, so uh, she wasn't doing it. Sure. Okay. And then it just fell off the yeah. radar and nobody followed. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll see what he, we'll see what he does, but I'm expecting that the guys aren't going to get a, much of it. I mean, they're not going to spend Christmas Eve with their families. Right. You know, yeah. they're going to be they are going to be crazy busy Friday and Saturday. They'll probably sleep through Christmas. Yeah. And who knows what next week's weather holds? So. It's too bad we didn't know this like a little bit ahead of time. We could have maybe helped him out. But at the rate, his he was running. He's been running through that budget this year with repairs and everything. You you couldn't possibly yeah. have known that yeah. we'd get to yeah. this point in the yeah. year. But the other thing is, I'll drop him the line and, and let him know that it came up and. You know, uh, like I said, I, I'm gonna push him hard, but I'll, I'll drop my line and let him know that it came up. And you yeah. know, if he can do something, he will. I know he will. And the yeah. other possibility can. is this particular spot where we want to put the culverts in. Some of them is considered a bridge, am I right? No. As opposed to a highway, isn't it a bridge? It well, the a one that you're talking about that we've got that FEMA grant, we lost yeah. the FEMA grant yeah. on. Yeah, that is considered a bridge, okay, but so um, they've already, the engineers have already determined it has to be a concrete culvert. So these culverts that we're talking about are right. by oh, the right. 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 Yeah. So we reduced that line item to $1,000. The culverts, we right? Did. Yeah. We um, did. You're right. Thank you for remembering that. So. So he would still have to purchase them for next year, correct? Right. Well, last time we were talking about the hundred and three thousand dollars. That's a one time. Yes. For yeah. Bridges, yeah. So I'll bet that was it? Yeah, for bridges, which plays into your could they technically be considered? Yeah. And I don't think most. I don't think most culverts. I don't think that applies. Okay. So yeah. you can't use bridge money for road work. No. But you. Can but you can use reverse. Right. Right. Yeah, any, I mean, yeah, anything in this budget could be used for a bridge if it right. needed to. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, I propose we increase that again. Not necessarily the 10000 but. It makes sense. And, and again, I mean, hopefully, we'll have a bigger crew going forward very soon. But. If he's still struggling to to get employees to keep employees, mm -hmm. how many culverts is he going to get done by himself? <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, you look at that. He had five thousand this year, and didn't, didn't spend that. Right, 
Right, because he couldn't, because he just didn't get to it. I mean, you know. Yeah. And like you said, he's, he's still got enough to do three. 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 Yeah. He, yeah, yeah, he said he had seven. seven. Yeah, I think he said mm -hmm. he had seven that he knew for sure had to be done. Eight and he had enough for three. Okay. So we want to leave him enough to do those. I, I would say, yeah, give him the 5,000. Anything else on here that we were pulling off of? Oh, just a call right there. Mm -hmm. So that, that brings this up to four. Thirty-three, two fifty. Do I have that right? Four. We just had four thousand. Yep. Four thirty-two. Four thirty-two, two fifty. You good at? Check all the time. Okay. So check, just check in the line. So I'm going to scribble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give Sarah another poke to on encumbered funds. I asked her to reach out to the DRE the other day. I think that's in that information I gave you. Okay. Thank you. Because we we have not, uh, I went back over my year my years as a selectman. We've never encumbered highway block grant funds. Really? So the assumption is that that's we just used them all up, or no. we just we didn't do I it. I don't think so. Oh. I really I, I don't and I, I don't know. I Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, I took it back. Highway block grant funds offset the, so budget. the budget. So no, right. I, um, the bridge. The capital, the capital reserve for the bridge. No, 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 no. Not the capital reserve. The, these special little bumps for like this this one's for bridge that I just read off last night from the state that they're oh oh that yeah yeah the, the freebie yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. for ninety thousand yeah dollars. I haven't found I, I don't know if we need to encumber that I asked yeah, so I, anyway I asked Sarah to reach out to the DRA to find out yeah. Yeah. and or and or Sue but yeah you do it yeah. uh, because yeah. uh, I had wanted to know before last night so we could do it yeah no we'll have to have it. no no we'll have to anybody that's uh, Love. Can I have a meeting at my house with a bottle of wine and we can call it New Year's Eve slash think, last? You're welcome to come videotape. <laughs> I, think, I think Jenny and Lee would be okay with that. I don't know. Do, do we want to go? I'll be other kids. Yeah, there might be a few other things you might need to do too. Yeah. And I, I know we did not we did not encumber the ARPA funds last year and the understanding from the DRA was that we don't have to because it was a grant given with right. the understanding that those funds had to be spent by certain whatever, a certain date. So, yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's, yeah. yeah. And the insurance money from the heating system at the fire station was encumbered for however five many years. years. I'm not going to say the wrong year. It was five years. And I yeah, think we have this, I think 2023, it needs to be spent up or lost. Yeah. Or, well, Do lost to the general fund. Mm -hmm. I don't know off the top of my head, but I know. I know we took the siding out of that for the fire station. Otherwise, See, whatever had been there, it's still there. It's you know. You have a lot on your plate right now to wrap up. No, not at all. No. No. Are you taking notes? We have ten and a half hours yet. Is there stuff. ten and a half hours left? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. important. I mean, I hate to see any of that money go. No. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But I'm pretty sure that some highway stuff was. Year before, I'm thinking of Jenny sitting there saying we need to do that. Can what was encumbered the year before was that because that's when we bought the CRV, is that right. what it's called? Yeah, um, and so we encumbered money because we were waiting for a bill from the amount Viking Sides, is that right? Charged us wasn't equal to what they said it was going to cost, uh, so we encumbered the balance on that in case they came back and said, Oh, yeah, we forgot, you still owe us this. 
And next year, you'll have to encumber the ambulance money because you're not going to get it until someone will. Yeah, well, you will. Or I will. We'll see. We'll yeah. see if we can even put a warrant article on that will make any sense and can pass. No, don't, don't freak out over that. That's really easy. Well, I'm not freaking out it's over really it. Easy. Not at all. I mean, yeah. I just It'll be what it'll be. Well, I think it's in the book I gave you too. So. Thanks. Anything else on Howie? Who are you looking for a motion? Sure, yes. Cindy. I'll make a motion that we approve the highway budget at the 432,250. Do I have that right? A second, please. Is that the right number? Yeah. Yeah. That's adding 4,000 into culverts. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's a total yeah. of five. Yeah. It's like the police cruiser. Yeah, perfect example. He's got to come in with the price for that cruiser. If he doesn't come in with the price, he just can't put down any number. Wait a minute. Is it warm article to purchase or warm article to put more money in the budget? Both. Yeah. Well, if they're putting it in the capital reserve, he doesn't need to have the one he wants to buy on paper. Nobody does need to have that to us that it's going to be a warm article. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, we ran through, we've run through all of them that were attached to the budgets and the ones we've come up with already that we thought of. A couple of them are tabled. Highway is one that we tabled because we wanted to know what his plan was, where these numbers were being, you know, what was the goal. Um, I feel like that's the only department one that had any that we tabled. And, we just, and, and some of them that we rattled that, that Leaf and I you know, went through were not money worn or close, so they don't matter to the budget committee. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you want to discuss it, I say we should discuss Christmas and adjourning. <laughs> I was hoping to wrap this up. That's how I understood it. No. We were doing, I thought at the last meeting you said we were doing more on no. foreign articles. And Somebody asked about it, and I it's made the statement that until you have them in writing, because... I must have been asleep at that time because I didn't hear Yeah, because even, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, because even though this piece of paper says the select right. one 40, yeah. you know, they wanted 40 and we said 40, even if you agree 40 right. or, or you wanted to change it to 30, that's not the warrant article. Right, yeah. So then we'll be discussing that at the January 12th meeting yes. before the public hearing. Yes. That's when we will receive all the warrant articles. Okay. And we'll discuss it before the public hearing. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, that's right, because the Budget Committee actually can't change them. They're the Selectman's warrant articles. Right. So all the Budget Committee does is either recommend that's for right. or against. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. But you have to have a meeting in order to discuss them to change them. Yes. The Right. They have to have a uh, meeting that night, that the last night that the warrant articles could be uh, submitted. We have to post for a meeting, and with any luck, God willing, um, we'll have a there won't be any. <laughs> there won't be any to discuss, and we won't. Then good luck with that, right? Right. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but if there's money once, then we have to we have to make a decision then and there, right. and, so there and also as to whether or not to recommend. Right. Whatever, whatever it just got put down right. on the roads right. that were done, whatever the parking. 
fire station in the town office that's bathing. Okay, so if we wanted to down the road, put manufactured stone on the roads, do we need to have a different, do we need to amend that warrant article? No, because no. the thing is, that's paving. That's what I'm asking, is it paving? Yeah. Is it paving? No, what you're okay. asking for that could be included right in, in his regular budget, or just the, the word paving on the warrant yes. does part. not does not specify any it does, does not assume any particular the type of surface. Other than it's a, it could be concrete, it could be okay. black top, it could be the crushed glass, it could be no, whatever that, it is. It's gotta be that black yeah. Is it, don't they do I thought they do the crushed glass as a paved road. Yeah, it's just a it turned into a bed is all that that, that oh. crushed glass. Yeah, I must be reading those N R R A yeah. things wrong then. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's all they do with crushed glass. It's, it's, uh, it makes an excellent uh, bed uh, before the, uh, because the drainage is so much better with the crushed glass than, uh, than gravel or right. whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, should we do a different kind of warm article or change that warm article to? There it is. We need to cover our butts now. Well, uh, for what? For using a different kind of aggregate? Yeah, yeah. Well, you would take a uh, reword a wall. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, but uh, you wouldn't take and put it on the pavement. You would have a different uh, Oh, you're well, saying we need, okay, so another warrant article? Yeah. Totally yeah. different from paving? Yes. You got till January 10th to get your petition warrant articles into so the So you are the select board member are not willing to put it on? I'm not saying I'm not willing to put it on, but I will not do the legwork and all of the study to find out between now and then. But I'd be happy to work with you before next year, uh, starting in like no. June. <laughs> no, I mean, just, make it July. I'm so taking vacation you, in June. If you put a warrant article <laughs> on to to start a capital reserve fund, okay. or aggregate, or bluestone, or something, right. that's sure. that's easy enough to put on. I'm absolutely, sure. yes. absolutely. Yeah. That, that's totally different than what yeah, okay. where you were leading that. Yeah. No, I was just trying to figure out if that would fit in paving. No, that's you, why I asked if, black, if, if tar is paving and that's the only definition of it. Yes, that's why uh, years ago we took it, uh, we made it a warrant article for the simple reason is if it was not a warrant article, it's paving, right? <clears throat> he could take it, uh, the organization could take it, use that for whatever he wanted. Oh, like. Sticks and stones and yeah, anything. acorns or whatever. It's, exactly. So you, you defined it. Okay, so. Yes. Do you feel that this one needs to be defined? Yes, if that's that. Okay. What you were looking to do, yes, it would have to okay. be defined as uh, okay. the subject. Yeah. Okay. Kind of the same way um, for years, there was a separate one for specifically by a ledge path. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Kind of the same thing. I would suggest that if you want to do it, have a conversation with Jeff, because okay. all your good intentions, if the road agent says, no, that's crazy, I'm not going to do that, or right. whatever, right. Then, exactly. okay. I, I would be less inclined to put it on then that okay. way. Um, also, like with everything else that we've been talking about, Leaf and I have been talking about, is you know, what's the plan? What's the plan? So that's well, great. You want to throw $20,000 towards this thing. I'm just thinking Whatever it is. Small, so what's what is what's the end game? What's the goal? What why? Right. What's it going to cost in the end? What are we looking at? I'm just talking about a small amount to get it started. Right. But yeah, part of the problem is that your idea is good, but yeah, you got to look at yeah, there's probably two years worth of sand down in the uh, the township. Okay. All right. So well, I'm hoping we have lots of lizards this year and we get to use it. Then go ahead. So. You've got two years of sand okay. there that's going to get put onto the roads. Yeah, that's not good. No. So, so have to wait for a lot of rainfall to wash it off into the gullies. And the, right. Yeah. So you've got to determine, all right, this road here, we're going to, uh, when we sand it, we're not going to use what sands down there. You're going to take and use this other uh, sand because you don't want to take and get it all mixed up. And then you, but you I know. don't want to do that until the road surface is ready for the other. You know. But this is what I'm saying. He would have to take a section of uh, only so much of a road. Yeah. 
that road is uh, dedicated to this new material. Yes. Yeah, you cannot take and uh, take that sand that we have now and put it on this road. Right. Because you uh, right. just defeat your whole purpose. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying, but I would like to just get something small started. Because if it doesn't pass this year, then we'll have to put it on again next year. And by the time we possibly get around to doing it, you're smiling at each other. You're smiling. At I'm, each other. I'm smiling. I'm, I was waiting for. I was going to look back and see if he was smiling. Because why would you put it on again if it failed last year? Because you put it on again and yet until it passes. I would. Put it on again. I, 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 yeah. I would. You know, I would. You know. So you're I saying. I give up easily. I know. You're saying in addition to the hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars he's got down here. That you want to add more to a. Uh, um, no. For perhaps taking a little bit away from that one and making a new warrant article for something different. Oh, you mean as far as warrant articles? Right. The thing being is, what you have to remember is, years ago, 60,000 were taken to do. I know. One mile of pavement. Yeah. So if you start reducing three quarters of a mile, right? Yeah. So if you start reducing your pavement, what paved roads you do have are going to receive less attention. Well, yeah. I feel I feel kind of funny about doing paving at all. There's so then you're going to take your paved roads and you're going to neglect them now. No, that is not what I mean. I yeah, yes, but if you don't take a sack, keeping your yeah, hey, roads up. I'm not saying that. Yeah, you are because you're saying reduce. The, reading my money. Reduce wow. if you can reduce the amount that you put now and the paving. That's what you said. No, let me explain right. a little more. Jeffrey is not trained enough to do the roads properly. Am I correct? He. he all right, go He's ahead. doing what he ha what he's trying to get done. So I think that we should pave when the roads are in a condition to be paved. So if there are certain roads that he wants to pave this year, he should be working on those roads, making them pave ready. But the uh, roads are uh, be that have been paved, and that's where that money goes to repave the uh, uh, roads that are already paved. So do they need to be repaved every year? No, but yeah, there's so many miles of paved roads. Yes. So, yeah, one mile, yeah, let's say there's 15 miles of... Yeah. So you're not talking about repaving over those roads, you're talking about extending the paving on the road. No, I'm talking about yeah, maintaining. maintaining the yeah, current paved road. 63 miles of road in Grafton, 58 of them are dirt. dirt. <laughs> yeah, I, know that. I know that. So, I mean, if you've got 15 miles of yeah, paved roads, let's say, all right? So he's able to uh, pave one mile of uh, road a year. Yeah. So that means 15 years uh, before he's able to get back to that first. Uh, okay, when he gets back to that first road, what's he doing? He's repaving. Uh, he's paving it again. It's just like the black tar. Yes. He's not oiling it. He's not doing anything else. He's, he's doing not doing it. He has a company. Again. Yeah. It's like the state road. Yeah. Uh, the, what do you see with the state when they come in? They just go right over the, the existing uh, pavement. I, I think for Maureen's intents, if the regular line item, instead of saying paving and patching, just said patching, and the Warren article said repaving, it would be more clear to everyone that that's what's going on. Because paving and patching isn't really paving and patching, it's really just patching, really, in, in the budget, within the budget. So, this Warren article for paving is where we go out and repave a mile of road if we're lucky. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like there's technically no actual paving going on as far as what people would think is, is turning a dirt road into a paved road. Right. So that's another line item, is what you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, we do have. We have determined that the 20 this miles is, it is only going to be adequate to patch. Oh, no, I know, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, but that 20,000, yeah. he uses that. Yeah. Some of that goes with the 60,000 that he gets for that pay. Exactly. Because yeah. yeah. there's 
Well, he has 81,000 in the high rate of so, carbon reserve. What is that money for? Is that? The high rate of carbon capital reserve fund yeah. is generally just for equipment purchases. Do you? I don't. Oh, wait, I do. Yeah. MS9? Yeah, I think, I, think it, I, I feel like it says so on the MS9 what that is specifically. I think it did. But I you, you are I'm just saying, a highway department. So you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I believe that's for a new vehicle. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And I, I, I feel like on the MS9 it says after the capital reserve it You're says right, equipment. It yeah, it does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I thought the pur the purposes are on there. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. And we won't even be able to spend that money if we don't have any help to get the road ready to be paid. Right. But like I said, the applications this week, so yeah. we can squeeze in an interview or three. Speaking of Warren articles, if you don't mind, I hate to hit you up on this here, but, well, we're all here. So, Parks and Rec, yeah. we, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I, I apologize if we already touched base with you on this. No, you and I'm repeating myself. Um, you had the, I think it was three to five thousand dollars. Three to four thousand. Three to four, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought we wanted we wanted we wanted to know basically what what the plan is, because um, that's you can't put a warrant article that says to, you know to raise an appropriate three but, or four thousand dollars or. But this is what I tried to explain earlier when she's got talking about warrant articles. Uh, explain that. about how we're not ready. <laughs> exactly. The thing being is the uh, budgets were put out. Ask them what the warrant articles uh, what you were looking for. Sure. Sure. All right. Absolutely. That's just rough. Right. It's not time for the. Uh, I mean, okay, so I just wanted to throw that out there that if you can get the selectmen at a number well, with a, I am, this is what we I am working on that hack, so we to the awesome. awesome. uh, a thing, because yep. uh, I just wanted to mention it while we were here and it was oh, in my head. I wasn't. Yeah. No, uh, that yep. there did you not go. slip out of my mind. Right. I knew <laughs> that I had to have a number, but I don't want right. to put a number down until I uh, talk to the box. I sent me an email uh, yesterday and I have now opened it to because they're doing a uh, slash discount and yeah. 60% uh, slash on all the playground and stuff. So, nice. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I can't. When I submitted that, I can't. Yep. I know what, yep. uh, in December, that they always send me a thing and say, and uh, we're slashing prices, and uh, this is what the, uh, mm -hmm. so I mean, I could have said, yeah, I want 4,000. Yep. But uh, December comes, uh, oh, you can get what you want for uh, 2,000. And then I look like an asshole because I go to uh, that. You never look like an asshole. Oh, yeah, it all depends on whose <laughs> mind you're talking. <laughs> so, I mean. The, the, no, I, I completely understand. I just, I just, it was, I was trying to think of what other Warner, because we had, Leaf and I had set aside. Yeah. Because we didn't have the numbers and it just hit my head as we were talking that yeah. that was yeah, that, one that, I had that, forgotten uh, about. Yes. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was asked before. I, yeah. yeah it, it, Yes. What? Right. Yeah. yeah. I said that at the uh, budget hearing uh, yeah. with the selector. I'm sorry, I must have forgot the December thing. I just I don't know yeah. why it was, yeah, it was so hectic. I know. <laughs> no, it's like I have nothing else to do. I've been really? there. I thought it was Bark Mulch, and then you said it was. No, it, it was not that. It was no, the, yeah, yeah. Bark Mulch is in the budget. It's, it's, it's insurance uh, yeah. projects. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because there's uh, right. two Jeopardy, whatever you want to call them. It's yeah. long, was that back from when they came around the town and dinged us on everything? That was yeah. quite a few years ago, right? That was like yes. five. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Enough said. <laughs> yeah. Enough said. Um, is this an appropriate time to talk about the library? You can. Okay. So where we ended up was uh, for a grand total of 20440 And if you recall, we had determined that we would include additional hours for the library to be open, additional wages appropriated for that. Yeah. Um, that's a good idea if I'm not going to be a librarian. Well, I was going to say, yeah, I said we should cut the library budget to zero. They've got no... Right. Well, I think we have to work on the assumption that we will have a librarian, the, the and the library will be open, 
<laughs> probably will be over. It will be the Kate. Name is, uh, they're going to be, and what is their intent with the new librarian then? So, whatever uh, the uh, current librarian uh, had planned may be totally different than the uh, new librarian. Yeah, but isn't that really based on what the trustees want to do? No, they were going off of what the uh, current uh, librarian wanted. Well, he, he talked about, though, um, with some of the special activities that they're doing, for example, the fiber arts and the trivia, that that would be handled outside of Wednesday afternoon, be there or be square. Um, that the, the librarian was, um, or someone on library staff needed to be there to have the library open for that time. Because it was an interference during regular library hours. Right. Okay, so, when I factored the, the wages, I didn't factor in the four extra hours. And I think part of the problem was because I didn't realize that the payroll was in arrears, was being paid in arrears, and it was only to a certain point, I think. The dates are in, in their timesheets for the month, mm -hmm. the beginning of the okay. day. So what yeah. I didn't factor in was I think that there were two more within the pay periods. Oh, oh. Okay, so my proposal is, and have, has the library spent their budget every year? Yes. Went back and look at yes. where they were. So for 2021, it was 68% of the budget. I won't compute this because we don't have, for 22, we don't have the exact numbers. For 2020, they spent 72%. Uh, 2019, 77%. And 2018, 18, uh, 82%. So, you know, like, I didn't have an opportunity to do the rest of my investigative work that I had wanted to do, which included looking back at any other department to see what the percentages look like for those departments. So, what I'm asking for um, is to bring their wages back to the 14146 that was appropriated in 2022. I myself have a problem with that because at the end of this map, as of the end of the uh, September, they only spent eighty-four hundred dollars. So I love them that. Uh, oh, six. Oh, it was ten thousand five sixty. Right, and that was up to when? The uh, end that was of the month. Nine thirty. Uh, you have more recent figures than I do. Yeah, 9.30, they always spent uh, 84 or 3. Oh, I'm sorry, you're looking at just wages. I was looking at the overall budget. Right, but you're talking wages, so I'm not looking at the overall budget. I'm uh, that. When you said uh, just wages, because uh, that's what you were uh, talking about uh, moving up. When they only spent the $8,400 uh, at the end of the uh, step up, and you want to give them uh, six thousand dollars more, and it's like that's all. Uh, well, well, where you are giving them twelve, you brought it up to twelve thousand. Right. Um, also, a brand new librarian shouldn't be getting paid what Kate was being paid. Right. She should come in at a lower okay. entry level pay rate. said it time and time again and I know people that uh, were going and they were only being counted uh, when they went in and it was for Cape uh, Day and uh, there was people from out of town that were coming up here just to go to Cape Day get counted as a, uh, as, as a user and it's like you know I don't mind if the library is being used uh, to its full extent but I go to uh, I was going to the library. I was bringing people there, and so I, and I was seeing who was using the library, and and I found a lot of it was the same consistent uh, 
two or three that I could take it and tell you. Every time the library was open, <coughs> these three people were sitting right at that table using the computer. Well, you know, and, and I wouldn't mind that if Cake Day lured people in to come and take advantage of the services the library had, but instead but what it, it was turned into doing was being disruptive and right. keeping people from using the library That's for the library. That's why we librarian, because she didn't want to have to deal with the noise when the patrons were there when they were open. Right, and I've heard that Two she now. took it found that she was a, uh, somebody had a plate with a cake that was up on top of the uh, bookshelf. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, uh, uh, aside from that, though, um, to, to Sandy's point about wages, I think um, we, we spend a lot of time putting together a strategic plan. Mm -hmm. And I, I had said last year I was, I was quite willing to raise their budget knowing what the plans were. And some of that they've done, some of they haven't. It's how plans happen. It, you know, people are people and, and life happens the way it does. But they still, again, are well underspent. Well, um, to that argument then, if you look at the welfare department and where, you know, their percentage of budget was spent, in 2021 they spent 40%, 49% the year before. And that is an awesome thing. And then, I agree, it is <laughs> awesome, but... Um, we are required by law to provide so, welfare services to people in town who need it in the emergency situation. Sure. So we have that, to have money. That's more or less, uh, we've got to have yeah. a, uh, yeah. a uh, cushion there. Uh, because you never know who you have for a uh, welfare uh, director and how good uh, they're going to be. Uh, and trust me, to me, books are life. Uh, a life without books is, is crazy. I. I it, it, I'm sad that our library is so underutilized, mm -hmm. but it is what it is. And, and like I said, they, they don't use it. I, mm -hmm. and, and if we had to shut the doors, I, the cemeteries would stop getting mowed. The library would close. I mean, if you, you're talking about essential services that have to be done. And yeah, I, I made the case for cutting the cemetery budget too, just because we, we are historically under underspent as well and and I, I completely appreciate that you make your best guess and you, you hope things will work out you hope you have employees that will do the work that needs to be done but when it consistently doesn't pan out you you, right. you got to be realistic and say you know uh, well I do remember you saying at candidates night that you would not live in a town without a library I did <laughs> I did <laughs> good memory um, I think it's extremely important to have in this town because we have a lot of people that can't afford to have a computer and comes with the kids, comes to the library or whatever. If books and are life. I'm and sorry, it, books. It's good to encourage them to read, yeah. so I think it's important, yeah. definitely. But they need to figure some way to draw in more people. And not for cake. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, it's, the kids don't come for cake, they're in school. Right. Yes, that is doing really well. Members, really well. Um, that come yeah. regularly to yeah. the book club meeting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's and a, that's it is, excellent. you know, there are very many places in town you get to socialize. Absolutely. You that's know. a fact. Do I feel that we need to have cake in the library? No. Yeah. You know, I don't think food and books is a good idea. Or computers is a good idea. I agree. Or we'll drink for that matter. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but it is perhaps a place where people can come just to sit leisurely and you know use the computer. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't have computers. Yeah. Um, but when you go into that library, yeah, time at the time at the time, it's the same three individuals that they're at their computer. Yeah. I mean. It, well, does it matter who's using the computer as long as they're getting used and someone's right. getting a benefit? But I, I would yeah, yeah, rather see more people use the computer than the same three. That's my yeah, thing. Well, if somebody comes in and wants to use the computer and there's three people, I'm... But I have asked that. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. no, these three people still end up at the computer and very seldom do they get interrupted or asked to and move over so that somebody else could use the computer. Because... Well, do I think that's fair? No. <laughs> I mean, Kane, you 
sign a whore when you walk in the room. Right, right. Well, what Kate did was that if somebody came in that had had an interest.